NASA's James Webb Space Telescope captured this tangle of stars and plasma in IC 5332. James Webb's infrared vision allows it to see through clouds of interstellar dust and show the galactic framework of stars and hot gas beyond. IC 5332 may be found in the direction of the constellation Sculptor, around 29 million light years away from Earth. It is around two thirds of the size of our own Milky Way galaxy, with a diameter of roughly 66,000 light years. Due of their almost face on orientation, the spiral arms of this galaxy have previously been seen and found to be striking. This James Webb image clears away the dust lanes that divide the arms, exposing the numerous stars whose light is too red to be seen by the Hubble Space Telescope or that were obscured in the past. In the voids between the stars, you can see the galaxies that were previously obscured by IC 5332. The image still displays the symmetrical arms of the galaxy, but the interstellar medium between the arms is also very luminous because of the presence of stars and gas. Understanding the structure and composition of this galaxy, as well as the interaction of dust, gas, and stars inside spiral galaxies in general, may be possible via a comparison with Hubble images. One of the most interesting phenomena in galaxies is the creation of new stars. Both JWST and HST collect information on this topic. Astronomers study individual stars, groups of stars, affiliations of stars, and parts of galaxies where new stars are being born to get a grasp on it. This is exactly what FANG's HST is working to achieve. The plan is to compile information on more than 100,000 astrophysical structures, such as molecular clouds, associations, and clusters. Eventually, this information will provide light on such mysteries as how long it takes stars to develop, how much gas a galaxy has, how star-forming clouds evolve, and even how a galaxy is structured. Using information from FANG's HST, JWST is able to zero on specific galaxies in the infrared, providing a look at their activity across many wavelengths. In order to see through IC 5332's dust, the MIRI instrument is ideal. The supercooled device is sensitive to mid-infrared light, with wavelengths between 5 and 28 microns. This allows it to see directly into the structure of our Milky Way galaxy. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.